Hello, hello, back again here with the calculus. So, we have a particle moving along a straight line, and D is, you could call it dis displacement, so displacement from its initial position, uh, measured in terms of time. So we see it starts off at we'll say d is zero, and then it goes away from its initial position, and then right about here, at the top, it starts to come back. Okay, so let's answer some questions about this. So using calculus to do some physics. Okay, average velocity is the first thing we'll look at. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take its uh, displacement, and use that to find average velocity. So we will say uh, final displacement minus initial displacement all divided by the total time, which is two. So what's that? That's D evaluated at three minus D evaluated at one divided by two. And uh, what is D? D of T is uh, nine T squared. So a peak up here, what was it? Nine T squared? Nine T over T squared plus nine. Nine T over T squared plus nine. Okay, so we can quickly evaluate these things here. So what do we get? So we get 27 over 18 minus 9 over 10, all divided by 2. So that is 3 over 2 minus 9 over 10, all divided by 2. So we get 30 minus 18, which is 12 over 20, divided by 2, giving me 6 over 20, which is 0 0.3 feet per second. Okay, velocity. What is velocity? Velocity will be the derivative of displacement. Okay, the rate of change of displacement is velocity. So we do, we want d prime of t, oh la la, t prime of t, which is the derivative of 9t over 9 plus t squared prime. So we use our quotient rule. So I'm gonna call numerator is f, denominator is g, so I got G, F prime, minus F times G prime, all over G squared. And what do we get? We get 81 minus 9t squared minus 18t squared. Same denominator. It's rarely useful to expand the denominator when you've just done a quotient rule. Okay. 81 minus 27 t squared. Um, all over 9 plus t squared, all squared.